Assalamu alaikum everyone today's topic is chromatography as we discussed in the last lecture the classification based on the principle is classified into adsorption partition ion exchange size exclusion and affinity we will be discussing these terms one by one first of all uh, adsorption adsorption you can see is different from the absorption adsorption is a, in which the particles stick to the surface of the other face whereas in the absorption particles soak into the bulk of the other face it is a process by which solid whose molecule of a gas or liquid or solute as a thin film whereas absorption uh, fluid is dissolved by a liquid or a solid absorbent whereas partition is the process in which solute dissolved in the liquid phase coated on the surface of the solid support keep that in mind in the partition there is a solid support is required for example in the thin layer chromatography next uh, you can see uh, the partition chromatography is further classified into gas liquid chromatography and the liquid liquid chromatography gas liquid chromatography in which the stationary phase is a thin layer of liquid coated on a solid porous solid and packed in a column you can see in the diagram that in the column uh, the partition is taking place uh, by which the separation is done and then it is detected by the different detector Another type of the partition chromatography is the liquid liquid chromatography which is further classified into partition column chromatography HPLC uh, paper chromatography ion exchange chromatography <clears throat> it is a process that allows the separation of the ions and the polar molecule based on their affinity to the ion exchanger in this process two type of exchanger are uh, used that is cationic and anionic Cationic exchanger possesses negatively charged groups and these will attract positively charged cations. These exchanger are also called as the acidic ion exchanger material because their negative charges result from the ionization of the acidic group. Next is the ionic exchanger have positively charged group that will attract negatively charged anions. These are also called as the basic ionic exchanger. Keep that in mind. and cationic exchanger and anionic exchanger are helping in the separation of the sample in the chromatography okay let's have a look on the diagram you can see how the cationic and the anionic with the blue and the purple helping the sample to separate out now the size exclusion chromatography as the name is indicate Uh, indicating that the the separation is based on the size also known as the molecular sieve chromatography in which the solution are separated by size and in some cases molecular weight you can see in the figure the blue and the red are separated out on the basis of the size last is the affinity chromatography in this method of separation a biomolecule from a mixture based on a highly specific macromolecular binding interaction between the biomolecule bio and the other substance now this chromatography depend upon the affinity of the uh, you can see binding interaction between the biomolecules as well as the your sample so this uh, is the method separating biomolecule from mixture based on the highly specific macromolecule binding interaction between biomolecule and other substance the specific type of binding interaction depend on the biomolecule of interest antigen now now you can see the interaction uh, or the affinity in the body antigen with the antibody enzyme and the substrate receptor and the ligand or protein and nucleic acid binding so on the binding Uh, this affinity this chromatography is working affinity chromatography is useful for its high selectivity and the resolution of the separation compared to the other chromatographic methods there is a diagrammatic uh, explanation you can see how the binding is taking place as well as the other components are also used 
for its separation and at the end this target protein are separated out now the uh, the broader classification of the chromatography is a uh, most commonly used is the column and the planar column chromatography in which the stationary phase is retained in the column whereas the planar chromatography in which the stationary phase is immobilized on the flat surface uh, the classification of chromatography can be done in on the basis of phases i think we already covered it the, it's a easy uh, formation that's why i have uh, shared it with you now the gas chromatography in mobile phase is gas stationary phase in the is, can be a low volatile liquid or solid and can be separated and analyzed on the gc r non aqueous solvent and the analytes in the gas phase the introduction of the gas chromatography is that it is instrumental method for the separation of the and the identification of the chemical compound this is its definition it is the most widely used analytical instrument in the world worldwide market is more than 1 billion or 30000 instrument per year gc is the premier technique of the separation and the analysis of the volatile compounds now the procedure of the analysis in gc how the sample is being uh, analyzed is introduced into the heated injector and then carried through the separating column by the inert gas inert gas is its mobile phase and detected on a series of the peaks on the recorder when the component leaves the column this is the instrumentation of the gas chromatography you can see the carrier gas is placed in the tank in which the regulators are also present which is taking the mobile phase into the column this is the column uh, and the sample is injected by the heated injector and then it is detected with the uh, detectors and recorded